Yo, what's up guys? How's it been? It's good to be back. I know it's been a while. We're building another PC today. The budget we're working with is $650. Here's my parts in front of me. And as you guys can see, I've upgraded the channel. We now have a top cam. So I'll be able to show you guys the parts real up close. You guys will really get to see all these goodies. I'm gonna go over the parts and their prices. After that, we're gonna build the PC. And then last, we're gonna be playing games. This is not gonna be a full guide. I'm just gonna build it real quick. I'm gonna speed it up. It's gonna be a time lapse. If you've never built a PC before, I've done full guides. Those are linked in the video description. But yeah, guys, let's just jump into it. So we went with the i3-8100. It's a four core, four thread processor. It's locked, so you can't overclock it. The motherboard we went with is the budget chipset for the eighth generation Coffee Lake platform. It's the B360 chipset. This motherboard is also locked, which means you can't overclock CPUs on it, but that's fine because these are both locked. They're a perfect match for each other. So modern i3 guys are respectable for gaming. The i3-8100 will work fine with the GTX 1050 Ti. They'll support each other equally. One is not gonna bottleneck the other. I'm gonna be using the Intel stock heatsink. You guys already know I'm not a fan of these because because of this little blue sticker. It looks ugly, but as part of our extras, I am gonna be covering it with like this right here. It's gonna look a lot better. We'll get into our extras later in the video. So with our motherboard, it looks cool. It's not ugly. We have our SATA cables to connect our drives to our motherboard. It gives us two SATA cables. And inside of here, you have your IO shield and that's pretty much it. If you wanna get this out, it'll just tell you where everything is on the motherboard. It's like a map of the motherboard. The disc, I didn't even bother because all those drivers are outdated. If you're gonna update your drivers or download any drivers, you're gonna download them from the website. Let's check it out. It's nice. And if you guys couldn't already tell, this is a micro ATX motherboard. So we will be building a micro ATX PC today. It's been a while since I've built one. Most of them are usually ATXs. I think that's the more popular form factor when building a PC. So this is just slightly smaller than the ATX one. And the case we chose to go with is also a micro ATX case. So it's on the small side. The RAM kit we chose to go with, it's two sticks of four, oops, two sticks of four gigabytes rated at 2,666 megahertz. And it's red to match our theme or at least to match the Funko Pop we're putting in there, which is gonna be Winnie the Pooh. His shirt's red. All right, so moving on to our storage, guys. We're with a two terabyte hard drive. We're gonna be storing all our games on this thing because you know games nowadays, they're ginormous, they're huge. <laughs> check it out, check it out. That's a brand new hard drive right there. And then we have our SSD. The hard drive's currently going for $58 and our 128 gigabyte SSD is currently going for $35. So on our SSD, we're gonna be installing Windows 10, our operating system and any other stuff, any other programs. Why? Because SSDs are a lot faster than hard drives. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know that. Those who aren't aware, I want you guys to be aware. When you install Windows 10 on here, your computer boots up quicker. Everything loads faster that's installed on here. Windows will boot up fast. So, yep, our game storage, our operating system and program storage. I wanted to save the best for last, but no, whatever, let's just open it. Here we have our GTX 1050 Ti. And this one is by, forgive me if I mispronounce this company's name, I think it's Zotac, but here it is guys. Small but mighty. And this 1050 Ti doesn't require any extra power. What does that mean? Okay, say you have a grandma or someone, you know, they have a PC that has a pretty decent CPU in it, right? Well, you simply, stick this guy in there into an extra PCI slot and it's instantly a gaming PC, which is why I really admire this little card. A card like this existing in the marketplace, it makes people's cost of entry into PC gaming very affordable. This card gives it that potential. You just gotta make sure, like I said, the PC has a decent CPU because if not, the CPU is just gonna totally bottleneck this card's performance and it's not even really gonna be worth it. So then in that case, build the PC from scratch like we're doing now. If you guys are curious about the ports, we have our HDMI, a display port, and a DVI port. Now, I know I said I was gonna go over the extras later in the video, but let's just go ahead and go over one right now. All the extras are not part of the budget. So $650 is our budget, right? Well, any of these extras, I didn't count towards that 650. So what's the purpose of this? Well, it's simply for looks. Our GPU goes installed into our PC like this. Okay, well, you have the case right here. The graphics card goes like this. This is going to cover up the back so it won't be a naked GPU and it'll look a lot better. It adds a lot of points in the aesthetics department. So as you can see, that looks a lot nicer than that. Boom. 
beautiful. So here's our graphics card. That's one of our extras. Now our vinyl wraps. Why do we have vinyl wrap? I don't know what colors I'm going to use yet, but that's what I got. This is going to stand out a lot. I'm going to go ahead and peel this off, put it here, trace it, cut it out, put a black circle of carbon fiber vinyl wrap on here. It's not real carbon fiber guys, but it looks like it. That'll look a lot better. So I'm going to do that. And also our SSD, it looks exactly like this. See? And in this case that we chose to go with, our SSD is going to be showing. It's going to be on display for the world to see. So you're probably going to want to cover it up add more bonus points in the aesthetics department. I don't know if I'm going to use black or red. I think I should use red because I'm, I'm going to use red, I guess, so it could kind of match his shirt. Guys, I will be honest with you. I am kind of, I'm curious as to how this look of this PC is going to turn out because it is a little, it's not as clean as other PC color combinations I've done in the past, but we're taking risk here. We'll see how it comes out. And I want you guys to rate it in the comments. A so one through a 10, how bad is it? 10 being the worst, one being flawless PC. All right, we'll see how it looks. But yeah, I'm going to cover this red. And then our final two extras, RGB LED strip. We got to have some RGBs in there. And the Funko Pop. I already went over him. It's Winnie, the mother... I was afraid of that. Pooh. We'll just sit him right there for now. He's just chilling. And then our final part, what's going to power everything, because <laughs> because the computer won't turn on if you don't run electricity to the parts. So this is very important, obviously. So I went with a 500 watt power supply, bronze rated, it's by EVGA, semi-modular. So this is what semi-modular means. Some of the cables are disconnected from the power supply. If it was fully modular, everything would be disconnected from the power supply. This is cool because cable management inside your PC case, right? The more wires there are, the harder it is to cable manage. People don't always use all the power cables from the power supply. Therefore, you do not even have to hook it in. It won't even be in your way. Allows for better cable management. The fan inside this case, it comes with one fan. I bought a pack of three fans. I guess this could also technically be in the extras list because you don't need it for the PC to function. This lights up red. They have red LEDs in here. Gotta match that red shirt. So moving on back to our motherboard. This motherboard has a total of three fan headers. One of them is reserved for our CPU cooler, this right here. And then the other two are for system fans. So we have one system fan input right here and one system fan input right here. We're gonna use a total of four fans. So we're gonna need four fan inputs and that's where our fan splitters come into play. So yep, we're gonna need this if we wanna add more fans to our build. This was $6. Hey, you guys saw that flashing light? Crazy. They're watching us all the time, 24 seven. So I added all the parts to the cart and the total price is $664. But remember this case, usually the MSRP is 40 bucks. Right now it's sold out by Amazon. So someone else is selling it more expensive. So subtract 10 from that, fair enough. We stayed well within our budget. Done, it's plugged in. Here we go. Don't forget to switch on the power supply. Here we go. Hey, it's alive. So yeah, the fans are red. The other two are on top right there. It came out pretty cool because that Funko Pop, this guy right here, he's a lot smaller. So I was able to fit him right there, right on top of the power supply. And he stands out a lot more right there. If you were to go with another Funko Pop, they wouldn't fit there because their heads are bigger and they're taller. They probably bump into the graphics card. But yeah, I'm pleased how it came out. Really clean cable management we have going on here. Don't need this anymore. Nice. All right, let's play games. 
All right, let's do this. Here's your Mate, by the way. guy looking through trees man stop what are you doing leave me alone man what the shoot him into the grass stop the computer yeah so when you crouch i shot what where do you woohoo this is a good spot oh another one they just they just keep coming I'll just chill, right? Oh, look, they keep coming. They keep coming. Open season, boys. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, I screwed up. Oh. Dude, he just clutched it. Wow, what a warrior. Oh man, nice. That was beautiful. Who is that? Who is that? Shout out to that guy. Who is that? There he is. What the? Where did he die from? Oh, they're already inside? Oh, they're already inside. Nice. That was super good. Those were horrible shots. Oh, Blackbeard. Switch on social. It's not looking good at all. So here, we, here goes nothing. Prevent stop the hostile securing the container. No, we securing the biohazard container. Oh my god, I couldn't have went any worse. Oh man, hockey puck boom boom. <laughs> Hello, sir. Oh what? Oh. Oh, dude, just sign your death certificate. I thought he was shooting at me. That was bad, Amy. Oh, oh, it's not good. It's not good. How far away am I? Oh, I'm not that. Wait, yeah, I'm very far. On the bright side. I was gonna say on the bright side, the FPS, the performance is pretty good. Uh, the bad news is I'm dead. I died. Oh, 
really popular, but your boy doesn't know how to play. He's a lot of stuff going on though, so. It's gonna be a frenzy. That guy's skin looks awesome. That guy has a cool skin. <laughs> this is pretty epic, even though I'm not doing anything. Oh, this guy's nice. You look at him, risking his life. Ooh, a gun. Another gun. Why am I even alive? You know, I can't even aim at them even if I wanted to. Oh, man. That was... I don't play Fortnite at all. How big of a learning curve would you say Fortnite is? Or, well, how long did it take you guys to become semi-decent at the game? Because I don't even know what anything does, really. Oh, my... A miracle your boy just took down someone oh that was fun though a lot of crazy stuff going on you guys got to see the performance like i said medium settings but at 100 resolution scale fps was pretty good you could probably turn it up to high settings and still maintain 60 fps i'm pretty sure i just want to put it at medium to see how high it could go because fortnite is a competitive game and this is a 144 hertz monitor but yeah guys thanks for watching this is a pretty beast little PC. If you guys want to see future PC builds from me, make sure you turn on bell notifications so you can be alerted as soon as I post one. I'm going to post one really quickly. Like the parts for the next build I already have in front of me. So I'm going to get on that ASAP. But yeah, guys, I appreciate all your guys' support. Peace. <laughs>